the swine flu may have made its way to the San Gabriel Valley and specifically Pasadena and the Pasadena Health Department's Dr. Sandeep Mittal is here live to tell us more. Thanks for joining us, doctor. It's a pleasure, Tim. Um, now, who had the symptoms? Who had the swine flu and how bad was it? We do not have a confirmed case here in Pasadena yet, but we are waiting on confirmation for one individual whose results we have sent to the state lab at Richmond, California. And he, this gentleman, this person is in his 40s who had onset of symptoms during the first week of May and he's recovered completely. Okay, now um, what I think we received uh, as media was first probable case. Yes. Now, how probable is probable? He is currently listed as probable, and just based on all of the cases that we've seen so far nationwide as well as across the globe, about 95% of the probables come back as positives. Okay. So we did treat him as uh, confirmed. So you send the information in to the state, right? right. And, then, and then it's the state that ends up confirming. Correct. So do we know how they got it? This, in this instance, we are not sure because the person denies any history of travel to Mexico. Okay, and that's, that's one of the indicators that, that we're looking for. That is one of the indicators, but now in the last couple of days, the Centers for Disease Control, they have modified their case definition a little bit. So earlier when the, disease, when the outbreak first originated in Mexico, you had to have a history of travel to Mexico. But more and more cases in the U.S. do not have a history of tra uh, travel to Mexico now. Now, we keep hearing um, it's getting less and then, you know, other cases are popping up. So which yeah. is it? Is it getting less? Is it getting more? I know it can be a little confusing at times, but what we have noticed is the cases are growing. As more and more people go in to be tested and as public awareness about the swine flu increases, they want to be tested. So so in the next few weeks, we are probably going to see the number of cases go up. Actually go up. Okay. Yeah. Now, is this the first one in L.A. County? or no, L.A. County has had about 27 confirmed cases so far. Okay. All right. Um, so how, what can people look for? How do they know if they might have it? or uh, And how can they fight against it very briefly? Okay. The, uh, the H1N1 flu because the swine flu is no longer the Oh, the right, term, we're not right. supposed to call it the swine flu. Exactly, mm -hmm. so the H1N1 infection presents typically as you would have a seasonal flu. So you get the fever, you get the chills, you get the fatigue, the body aches, headaches, and a small proportion of patients also report a little bit of vomiting and diarrhea. Okay, all right, so, so and to protect it, just the usual things, just right? The usual Wash stay. your hands. Wash your hands, stay home if you think you're sick, cover your cough, cover your sneeze. Okay, uh, well, thank you very much, doctor. Any other, any other cases you guys are looking at? Uh, we are continuing with our enhanced surveillance. We are looking very closely at anybody who has these symptoms and if positive then we of course will treat them as well as their close contacts. Very good and people can reach you at the uh, health department with more questions. We've got a website uh, city of Pasadena forward slash public health. Okay city of Pasadena net, net slash public, public health. health. Very good thank you so much doctor. I appreciate you taking time to come in and sure. talk with us.